What's up, y'all? This is Camson. Um, you know, we've been bringing to you uh, videos about healing alkaline foods. I've been following some of Dr. Sebi's requirements um, with certain foods that you should eat. And so I wanted to share Diatomaceous Earth with you all. Um, you know, I started taking it probably about three or four days ago. And if you're wondering what it is, I'm going to put a link at the bottom where you can read and research on your own time. Um, specifically for whatever your needs are and see how it would benefit you specifically and in this video I'm going to give you a really short quick overview of some things that it can do to help you um, so diatomaceous earth is basically silica and silica is something that's made up every living being has silica It's just as important as oxygen and water and diatoms can be found in water um, one of the great things about it, if you don't want to use deodorant because of the heavy metals, you can switch out your deodorant with this. And I'm working on a recipe for deodorant, and once I get it perfected, I'm going to be sure to share that with you all too. Um, it's really good for removing toxins, and so if you're switching out your deodorant, that's one good, easy way to start detoxing your body, um, especially of the heavy metals. Um, it's also... Um, you know, with deodorant and everything, 16% aluminum, that's a lot of metal. And so for my family, I have been researching this for years and I decided to start sharing it with you all um, because a lot of people are awakening and a lot of people um, are seeing the issues with their children being sick and you yourself probably being sick. Um, and so you just want to share these things with other people. Um, toothpaste. I stopped using toothpaste years ago. Me and my family, I make our toothpaste. Um, and I saw really good results because of my sickle cell. It causes my teeth to basically do the same thing my bones do. They're breaking down um, because of the lack of oxygen carried in my red blood cells. So for me, this wasn't just an um, aesthetic thing as, as to how I look, but this was for health also. And without teeth and with the enamel wore down in your teeth, you're not going to be able to eat the healthy foods and have the diet that you need unless you're going to puree everything. And oh my goodness, there is no way I'm going to eat everything pureed at 37. Not happening. And I don't want it to happen to you all either. So it's another reason why I had to post this. So if you want a recipe for toothpaste, um, just search for it on your on, on your internet, whatever browser you're using. Um, it's, many things will pop up, many different recipes. And for those of you who like Pinterest, Pinterest has a lot of good recipes for toothpaste also. Uh, I think I've perfected my toothpaste recipe. I'm always looking to make it better. So once I get that perfected, I'm probably going to go ahead and post that on the website that we're building. So you all can just order it and you don't have to figure out how to make it yourself. That way, all you have to do is order it and use it. So I got a lot of things in the works because I want to help people heal their mind, body, and soul. Uh, and it's just time that I share this. Um, for my skin, as you all know, I'm a makeup artist, and so healthy skin is very, very important. Um, makeup is not just about covering up flaws, but actually trying to um, heal and reverse damage. And because of the toxins and the pollution and our diet, there's so much damage to the skin, hair, and nails. And so diatomaceous earth, um, it contains a lot of minerals, calcium, magnesium, zinc, copper, selenium, and phosphorus. And so these minerals actually will help your skin um, to maintain some of the elasticity as you get older. And, I, you know, people say, well, black don't crack. That's true. But if there is something that you know is going to benefit you, it's not just about the appearance of wrinkles, but what you can't see in your skin. So for those of you who are like, no, I have really good skin, I'm good. No, you always want to try to do better when you know better. So there are plenty of recipes for this. Um, I posted one here. 
and like I said I'm gonna give you the link and so you can go straight to it and see it it's gonna help rebuild collagen in your skin so it's not just about looks this is about health this is about wellness well-being and the most high a higher he wants us healthy so that we can carry out our purpose in life as he has planned for us to this is why the people who run this world they have done this intentionally to keep the children of the Most High from doing what they have been called to do. Um, and so I'm going to share these things. Collagen isn't just about skin appearance. Um, you know, collagen is very beneficial on many levels of the body. And skin is the biggest organ of the body. And so we need to take care of that because that's our number one defense system against anything um, invading our body that shouldn't be there. So for those of you who don't wear makeup, keep that in mind. I'm not trying to convince you to book an appointment with me, okay? <laughs> um, also, I wanted to say this and share something kind of personal with you all. Um, this week, I have been having fever and chills and night sweats. Um, my urine had been stinging when I used the bathroom. And usually when I'm having those symptoms, it's usually because my porta cap is infected. I went to the doctor and they were like, you know, it's nothing we can do to help you. Yes, we see that your iron levels are low. We see that your hematocrit has dropped because I have sickle cell anemia. And so it does cause that to happen. And I, I broke down and cried. Like, I really broke down and cried because I, when I know I'm sick and when I know what my body needs to get better after years and years of doing it, and then when the healthcare system denies to help you, um, you know, you can't do anything about it but do the best that you can and pray and fast and so that's what i have been doing and this is a part of that process the diatomaceous earth um, and so i'm tr just trying to give my body um the ability to detox and so that i my body can heal itself and do what it needs to do um so i, I wanted to let you all know if you have sickle cell or any other illness this is something that literally will reverse a lot of the issues that you are having with that particular illness um, right now I don't have a fever the night sweats and chills are getting better um, and like I said I, I take a lot of other supplements I'm also taking oil of oregano which is antiviral antibacterial antifungal um, and so that's helping kill whatever this could be in my body I'm also taking the diatomaceous herb which is really good for ridding the body of viruses and parasites and bacteria it basically is going to do all of the same things i use coconut oil which has many of the same properties so i am doing everything i possibly can to be healthy and i want to share this with you all i'm going to put the link below like i said if you are a sickle cell patient and you've been looking for something to try those are the top things i would recommend for you I cannot take the place of your doctor. Please run these things past your doctor. But do remember that you are the advocate of your own body. And you are responsible for what happens to your temple. Um, and remember that the healthcare system was not designed to heal us and teach us how to be healed. It was simply designed to manage illness and to make money. That's what it's there for. Um, so it's not anything personal against people in the healthcare profession, um, but this is just a truth. It's a fact. It's not an opinion. Um, and yes, the healthcare profession is needed. Their nurses are a blessing. Doctors can be a blessing, but you can also be a blessing. And the Most High gave us everything that we needed on earth to be healthy. So people that say, why would he give us all these infirmities and allow diseases? And well, he placed everything here that we need to come back and reverse it and heal. It's just a matter of the knowledge and you have access to it. And we perish for a lack of knowledge. And so I want to make sure I share this. I'm going to give you all an update on how I'm feeling, how I'm doing. But I think it's really working. And the reason I say that, because my last appointment, it seemed that my numbers were getting a little better. Um, so I'm going to continue to do this. I get blood work done at least every two to three weeks, if not more often than that. And so I have specific paperwork where I'll be able to show you all um, what's actually happening. And for those of you who are in the healthcare profession that may be just so happen watching this video, um, those numbers I'm sure speak volumes to you as to what these supplements and these herbal and these minerals that I'm taking are really doing to my body. 
So I just wanted to say that and give a quick disclaimer. Um, drop your comments below. If you want to know where to get it, I usually go to Amazon and get it. Make sure that it's food grade. I put the picture in here. You're looking at it right now. This is the picture. Um, this is the brand that I use. I just take one teaspoon. I put it in about four to six ounces of water. Sometimes I put it in my milk or I can put it in my um, green tea in the morning. And I take it in the morning as soon as I get up. I recommend you do the same thing. It is safe for your children. It's safe for your dogs. And you can even use it for pest control. Um, the crystals inside of the, um, the diatoms, they're made like um, honeycombs and they're um, crystals and they're very sharp edges and so insects when they get in it it's going to stick to them um, and it's not going to allow them to breed in the house and you know so it's a really good way of pest control that is non-toxic for those of you like me who have babies in the house that is a major concern all right peace love and blessings shalom